You've never used your religion to make a statement, but when you scored that ton at the Gabba in 2015, the commentary was the first century for Australia by a Muslim. What did you make of that? Yeah, I've, I've always found that bizarre. Um, that religion comes into sport um, so heavily, and it's a big part of my life. And don't get me wrong, I have a lot of pride when people talk about myself and Islam and, um, you know, because it's such a big part of my life. But yeah, I still find it weird because I'm playing cricket and, you know, you never sort of hear anything like that about anyone else, yeah. you know, about mm. what their fates are or what they, what they believe in, like, you know. I wonder, I got my, my good mate, Nick Maddinson, who's a vegan. So hopefully he'll come back in the Australian team and when he scores 100, I wonder if they'll say yeah, First vegan to score 100. I don't know if he is, but, <laughs> you know, I don't think they say that, so. You've hit six centuries for your country, but, I mean, you have struggled, though. You've been in and out of the team. You've been hampered by injuries, bad luck. And, I mean, you've been criticised for not trying hard enough. How do you... How do you take that? Yeah, that's, I find that bizarre. Like, how can anyone play for Australia and not be trying hard enough? Like, you don't get to play first-class cricket, let alone for Australia, without putting in a lot of effort, a lot of hard work. Um, and Shane Warne says that you're lazy. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Um, you know, I, I don't really know Shane Warne too well, so it's pretty disappointing that if, if he did say that, to say that about me. So I've got naturally, like, just my demeanour is the way it is. I'm just, you know, laid back and sort of go out and at my own pace. And in my head, things are working a lot faster, but my body's just different. A lot of times people are like, oh, you, you know, you, you, like, you're lazy. That comes out a lot. And I was like... Except when you're scoring runs and he's yeah, elegant and yeah. classy. It's but, either one or the other. And I've said that before it's too. Just... So if I score runs, it's fine. If I don't score runs, I'm apparently lazy. And I know Mark Wall used to cop the same criticism too. Um, when I was growing up, I used to hear that, you know, if he got out one time, I'm like, oh, that's a lazy shot. I'm like, well, and then he's, next thing he scored runs, oh, what a beautiful player, such an <laughs> elegant player. And I was like, you can't pick and choose. He's always an elegant player. It's just how he gets out sometimes. And... To, for anyone to ever say that I was lazy or not trying hard when I'm playing for Australia is, is so far from the truth. And I honestly think a part of the, a part of that is because I'm Pakistani. And, I, and it's one of those cultural things that Pakistani, especially in the cricketing world, are perceived to be lazy. So apparently, because I was born in Pakistan, I think without people realising it, it's in the back of their heads, no matter what happens. So, so is that a form of discrimination right there? No one intentionally does it. That's what I think. And I'm not saying that's 100% what it is, but that's what I feel it is sometimes. So, you know, I have to do, I think I have to do extras sometimes just to try to clear that perception up and whatnot. And, um, you know, if I felt like if, at, I have felt like times if I was, if I was white and I was a full, you know, Anglo-Saxon Australian that I wouldn't get that a lot of times. So it's, but it's just something I have to deal with and I'm happy to deal with it. I've got no issue. I'm, you know, I'm not complaining what, what not, I'll just push on and do the best I can.